Oh, oh, oh. Roses and rosé. Who was fixing your hair? Was that your girlfriend? Where? Was that? <laughs> it was Jules Laplaca. <laughs> Get over here for me. Come oh, hit this man. mark. You're okay, bad. You're uh, really bad. I'm bad, or am yeah. I doing my job, Peter? Uh. <laughs> Let me get into first how you felt tonight went. The women actually, I thought they gave you a lot of love. I thought they'd come at you more because all season long they did. <laughs> yeah, they did, and I, I I appreciated that so much. And I, I wasn't necessarily expecting that, but just hearing from a lot of the women, um, just hearing all those really sweet, kind words of encouragement and whatnot was amazing. It was. Okay, let's dig into how things are ending. Madison has given you an ultimatum. Watching this footage back, how do you feel watching it? Do you feel it was fair that she kept some things from you and gave you this decision to make? I keep getting asked that, and I, I don't feel like it was an ultimatum. I don't. I think it was her doing what I asked every girl to do from the very first night, and that was to be honest with me and share what was ever on their heart. And that's what she did. And it, trust me, it made it for an insanely, incredibly difficult week for me. There's no doubt about that. But I can't fault her for just sharing her heart. She seemed to almost say no to the rose. What if she had? Well, that would have been a first in like Bachelor history. That would have been, that would have been rough. Oh, that would have been really bad. Like, what do you do there? You know? How does your season end, Peter? Well, uh, if you must know, <laughs> you guys can tune in in a couple of weeks to find out. Don't let her go. Don't let her go. Bring her home to us. Who is Barb crying about, Peter? <laughs> a lot of people think it's Hannah Brown now coming in. Oh. Possibly Jules Zaplaka, who knows? Uh, there's so many. I'm so glad many you brought up your producer's name. She's your producer. <laughs> is she the woman that you're with right now? So many theories out there right now. Uh -huh. It's it's been it's kind of crazy to hear, but I don't know. We'll see. You absolutely know. Well, I do. You I'm, know I'm, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I don't know if you heard this, but at the beginning of the tell-all, Chris Harrison said, "This is an ending where no one knows how it will end. Not even Peter. There is not a single person who knows how Peter's journey will end." Not even Peter. Do you not know how your season ends? There's definitely a chance about that, yeah. Help me understand that. <laughs> um, things just are, you know, they continue to unfold until the very last second, and I don't know when that last second occurred. So does that mean that right now you might be unclear on someone's feelings for you, on if you're in a relationship? That's what it sounds like. Man, you love to push this. <laughs> yeah, I, um... You guys will see. I, there's only so much I can say. But it, all I can say is, again, it was it was the toughest, toughest last week for sure of my life. And we'll okay. see what that means. Do you know your own romantic status right now? On my what? Do you know your own romantic status right now? <laughs> Lauren! <laughs> I, um, you guys will have to tune in. <laughs> Good teasing. Hey, he right. said it, not me. All yes. right. Uh, are you really in love with three women? You've gotten some criticism for this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Um, it's it, If I wasn't feeling it, I wouldn't have said it. So, um, again, I, I've always been a firm believer that the heart wants what it wants. And I think this experience for sure has shown me there's not just one soulmate out there. I think at some point in my life I used to think that. And, yeah, I've definitely been able to give my heart to more than one person, so it's possible. Are you with your soulmate now? I hope right. so. I sure hope so. That'd be great. Speaking of the heart wanting what it wants, Peter, why do you want crazy? I don't want crazy. Peter, you I, said I you did. You, I, I, that's Hunter Hayes saying that. That's not me. I was just singing along the lyrics, okay? I Listen, our relationship with, with, my, with Victoria, it was very real. There was a lot of crazy there. I think I said once with Hannah Brown. Like, a little bit crazy is fun. Just a little bit, not a lot, I swear. Well, watching things back with Victoria, a lot of people have said, look, this is really dysfunctional. How are you feeling watching it back? Anything you would do differently? What's just your take on it? Um, I think you saw a relationship there that definitely required a lot of work and we could have definitely easily given up really early on and it would have been a lot easier for probably the both of us but I think there's something beautiful in that we didn't and even though there's a lot of opinions about people that think we should never have been together we fought and fought and fought and I think till the end, even though it wasn't us in the end I thought there was something beautiful of that relationship and how, what it got the point it got to and what we learned about ourselves and just being able to communicate a lot better I, I, I really appreciated it. Who was the hardest goodbye? Um, you haven't seen that yet.
<laughs> You're trying to kill me. You're trying to kill me, and you might kill your own mother. I don't <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm worried. We must protect Barb at all <laughs> at costs. At all costs. Um, Victoria F. surprised everybody tonight. She came in communicating clearly, speaking her mind. She's learned a lot. We loved watching it. How did you feel seeing what kind of felt like a different woman out there? Yeah, that was a very beautiful thing for me to see. And there's, you know, even if maybe you don't find your person throughout this, it's only going to work for hopefully two people. Uh, there's a lot to be learned, and I feel like I learned a lot too. But seeing that with Victoria, just it made me so happy to see her in a good spot. And um, you know, she deserves love just like every single person here. Last question: uh, Anything that you're sorry for that you would do differently? Hearing from the women tonight, looking back at the season. I, you know, I heard a couple things today. You know, tonight with maybe I wasn't able to give enough time to some of the women because some of the drama, you know, took up a lot of that time. And that for that, I'm sorry. Uh, that was never my intention, but. I, I have to give myself some self-grace because I, I didn't do that on purpose. I was just trying to follow my heart and do what I could do in that moment. Um, I don't really like to say regrets. It's, it's mistakes, and I learn yeah. from them. Oh, I have one more. I'm sorry. I forgot yeah. this. Uh, a lot of people were saying, why didn't you push for more on the accusation that Victoria F. had broken up relationships? Do you wish you'd asked more questions, gotten more clarity on that? Because she's sitting there telling you, I don't know what to answer to. Yeah, and, and I did, and it just unfortunately wasn't able to air, but we had a long conversation about really what her relationship was with Marissa and the accusations she was making. We talked about the relationships that, that Marissa had brought up, and um, there's a reason why I made my decision. You know, I wasn't just going off a no, no conversation there. We had a long conversation, and um, in regards to with Marissa and my relationship, um, that wasn't very serious at all. I'd maybe seen her for four times uh, throughout the course of a month. It was a lot more serious with Victoria. And so when I heard Victoria's side of the story, um, it was enough for me to make the decision and, and I felt good about it. Peter, I keep saying that you make what I call 747 statements, the most perfect girl, <laughs> the, the best first date ever. How do you say these extreme things and not pick, you know, Hannah Ann, who's the most perfect girl? <laughs> um, <laughs> Hannah Ann is. She is a very, no one's perfect, but she's very close to perfect. I'm a very passionate dude, and I'm an extremist kind of. And so I make these statements, and it comes from the heart, and that's just who I am. So Flying high in a 747, Peter. That's my favorite airplane. I love that you know that. Oh. Right, look at that. Oh.